Hello everyone. I am back with another video. Today we are going to learn sentences. The topic that I am going to discuss in detail is types of sentences. Let us begin by understanding what a sentence is. A sentence is a group of words arranged in a systematic manner so as to convey a complete sense. I have another video wherein I have discussed this in detail. You can find that video on my channel so please go and subscribe. Let us look at some examples to understand this. It is raining heavily today. The squirrel ran up the tree. The little boy cried for help. What an idea! Bring me a glass of water. Who knocked at the door? What a beautiful picture it is! Do you cook? Shut the door. Be quiet. As you can see, there, these sentences are group of words which are arranged in a systematic manner. And all these sentences convey a complete meaning. And also if you notice, you will see that some of these sentences end in a full stop, some end with an exclamation mark and some others use a question mark in the end. So this will help you to understand the types of sentences. Types of sentences based on sense or meaning that these sentences express. The first type is imperative sentence. The second type is the declarative sentence. The third type is exclamatory sentence. And the fourth type is the interrogative sentence. Let us try to look at these types one by one and then try to differentiate between these sentences. The first type that we are going to discuss in detail is the declarative sentence. A sentence that makes a statement or assertion is called a declarative sentence. These kinds of sentences basically give you some information. So they are called informative sentence also. You may also call these sentences assertive sentences. As I told you before, these sentences convey information and the information which these sentences convey can be both in affirmative or negative sense. A declarative sentence ends with a full stop. Let us look at some of the examples and try to understand. Nature is a wonderful creation of God. Ratan ate a banana. Rohan will not go to the market. Seema is an intelligent girl. In all these sentences you can see some or the other information is being shared. So these sentences are called declarative sentences. Let us move on to the second type, interrogative sentences. A sentence that asks a question is called an interrogative sentence. An interrogative sentence ends with a question mark. Let us look at some more examples to understand interrogative sentences. What is your name? Where do you live? Have you read any novel lately? Who teaches you English subject? As you can see, in all these sentences, something or the other is being asked. So, the asking sentences are called interrogative sentences. Moving on to the next type is in imperative sentences. A sentence that expresses a command, request, suggestion or a wish 
is called an imperative sentence. An imperative sentence ends with a full stop or an exclamation mark. Please do not get confused when you see an exclamation mark because you have to try to identify the sentences based on the categories that we will be discussing here. That is command, request, suggestion or a wish. Let us look at some examples. Please come tomorrow. This sentence is a request. So, it falls under the category of imperative sentences. You should not lie. This is a suggestion or an advice. So, this sentence also is an imperative sentence. Bring me a cup of coffee. This sentence is a command or an order. Have a safe trip. This sentence is a wish. So, as you can see, all the imperative sentences fall under these four categories that are request, suggestion, command or wish. Let us move on to the next type. Exclamatory sentences. These sentences are really easy to identify because they end in an exclamation mark. A sentence that expresses a strong feeling of surprise, anger, joy, regret, etc. is called an exclamatory sentence. As I already told you that these sentences end with an exclamation mark. For example, Hooray! We won the match! How tragic! Bravo! You have done well! What a lovely flower. So all these sentences express strong feeling of surprise, anger, joy, regret, sorrow, etc. So these sentences fall under the category of exclamatory sentences. Now the next type that I am going to discuss is not commonly used. Rather, from the point of view of examination, this kind of sentence is not asked. But since we are dealing with this topic, I want you all to know all the details and all the concepts and so I will be dealing with this concept as well. Optative sentences A sentence that expresses a prayer, keen wish, curse, etc. is called an optative sentence. This kind of sentence generally starts with may or wish. Sometimes these sentences also begin with let. They aren't things over which the speaker has any control, but rather they are sentiments. An optative sentence ends with an exclamation mark. There are some things that we can only wish, we can only pray for. We cannot do anything about it. So those kinds of sentences basically fall under this category. Let us look at some examples to understand this better. Long live our king. This is a prayer or a wish you can say. We cannot do anything about the king's life but we can only wish. So this is an example of optative sentence. Wish you a very happy journey. May your team win the match. Let there be peace in the world. Hope for the best. I wish I were the president. Now if you look at the examples closely, you will see that many of these sentences we use in our day-to-day -day life. But we have never found out that this can be a different type of sentence altogether. So I am glad that today you all know that these sentences fall under the category of optative sentences. So I hope you all have understood this topic really well. Do drop in your comments in the comment section below to let me know your feedback about the video. 
and also drop in a comment if you wish that I should make a video on any particular grammar topic. I will be coming soon with more videos. Do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for listening to me so patiently. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.